Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer. Good morning, South Africa, and welcome to one more Workers' Prayer. If you're watching us for the first time, well, welcome. And join us every week, Monday to Friday, 5 to 6 in the morning. And make sure you have your glass of water ready because after the testimony, the real life testimony, we have the moment of prayer to bless the glass of water and also to bless your life. I was growing up in the township where the, uh, in a family house, I was living with my two parents through an early stage, run up of 16 years, I found myself going up with bad, bad friends, starting to drinking, smoking, sleeping around, going to parties. So I ended up being an addicted to all those things, drinking and smoking, not seeing every way out in my life. I could not support myself, I could not support my kid. This led for me to be rejected by my own family. That was one of the, of, of the moment that I say, for me it was painful to see myself not, not be able to provide, do the things that I was supposed to do for my family as a man. When I was watching the television on the program of the workers' prayer, that five minutes was enough for me to look and take my life to the doorsteps of the Universal Church. My first day at church, I remember like it's, it's, it's yesterday because when I arrived in the church, I knew that the only person that I want to find here is God. And if I don't find God, sooner or later I'm going to die. And then I, say, I told myself that I'm going to stay here. I engaged myself in the chains of prayers, doing all the movement of faith. I give my life on the altar of God, and then I allow the will of God to happen in my life. Today, I am six years delivered from all the addiction that I have. Today, I have my own company, and my company is doing well. But the greatest blessing of all in my life, I'm baptized with the Holy Spirit. What an amazing story. Just like Bonpiwi, you are watching us right now and you have a lot of problems you want to overcome, but you just don't know what to do. Do what Bonpiwi did. Join us. Go today. Join one of the spiritual treatments and I'm absolutely sure that as God changed the life of Bonpiwi, he is going to change your life as well. Let us pray. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, we enter your presence, we consecrate this glass of water. We ask you, Father, to bless the life of people like Bonpiwi, living suffering, distress, people who faced rejection and got accepted by a group of so-called friends, misleading them and giving them bad advices. And they did it. They are now addicted, they are depressed, they have more problems now than before. But I believe that you have a plan for this person. And when they drink from this glass of water, touch them, bless them. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Your life can change as well. Don't despair, don't lose hope, because the doors of the Universal Church are open every day to bless your life. We came to the end of One More Worker's Prayer. For more information, you can call our helpline. And do not forget that Sunday, we together here on E, 6 o'clock in the morning with our So Precious program. And Monday, we'll be back 5 to 6 in the morning with our Worker's Prayer. Bye-bye. This is Worker's Prayer.